Hello, grade 12. Um, today, I just want to teach you a very, very important concept that is so short. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. So we'll be doing sequences and series. What I want you to note here is I want you to, to know this formula here. But this formula, whenever you are looking for a certain term, okay, we always take the sum of that number or the sum of that term minus the previous one okay now what do i mean here let's take for instance we were looking for term number 10 okay what happens is you are going to take the sum of the first 10 terms minus the sum of the previous one okay the previous sum now what do i mean by that i mean as you can see the value of n you're just gonna see a 10 minus 1 since in our case we'll be looking for 10 10 now this would give you the sum of the first 10 terms minus the sum of the first nine terms so this is a formula that you can use to find any term that you want given that you know the sum of your terms okay now let's look at an example here the sum of the first term the sum of the first n terms of a sequence is given by this formula here. So we have uh, Sn is equal to 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus 3, right? Now, the first question says find the sum of the first five terms. In order for me to answer this question, I'm going to rewrite the formula that was given to me as it is. And then from there, I'm going to substitute. They say here the first five terms as you can see so in the place of n i just replace it with five and then this would be three to the power of five plus one minus three okay so the first five terms uh, would be remember we are talking about sum so i'll just punch everything in the calculator which would give me let's see 726 so the first five terms of this sequence of this series would be 726 when we add all of them together. Question B says the sum of the first four terms. Now, if you notice, the question is uh, the same as the previous one, just that now we're looking for the first four terms. So in the place of n, I put 4, 3 to the power of 4 plus 1 minus 3. And then let's see the answer that we're going to get. So I just go straight to calculator. Now I'm going to replace 5 with 4. And then I get 240. That means the first four terms, when you add them together, they will give you 240. Okay. People, Some people don't understand the concept sum, guys. Now this is what we mean. Let's say we are given term 1, term 2, term 3. Term 4 and term 5. I'll add term 6. Okay. Now the numbers can differ. You can have a number here. Let's say 2, 9, 11, 13, 17, 26. This is just an example. Okay. When we talk about the sum, guys, the sum of the first five terms, we mean all the first terms, all the first five terms added together. What is the total answer, okay? Now, if you realize, we can't keep on adding all these numbers when you have big numbers to deal with. Hence, we've got these formulas. I hope that makes sense. Um, to answer now the last question, they are saying here, the fifth term, let us find the fifth term. That means I'm looking for term five. Now, remember at the top, I said, to find any term, you say the sum of, the first numbers of that term minus the sum of the previous one. Now, in our case, we're looking for term 5. So I just say the sum of the first five terms minus the sum of the previous one, which in our case would be uh, 5 minus 1, they would be 4. 
And if you notice, we calculated those at the top. Uh, S5 would be 7, 2, 6, minus S4, which is 2, 4. Meaning the fifth term now would be the difference between the two numbers. So I just say 7 to 6 minus 240. And that gives me 486. There you go. This is the fifth term. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, people. See you on the next video.